Hey son and welcome back to my channel. So this video is my review of An Ember in the Ashes by Sabata here. Uh, it's a YA fantasy dystopia romance um, in terms of genre. Um, it's the also the first in a quartet. The second and third book are both out. The fourth book is about a year away. Damn. The story revolves around two characters. The first is Leia. Her brother was arrested for treason and has been taken to prison. And Leia joins the resistance and offers to do a mission in exchange for them breaking her brother out of prison. So her mission is to spy on the Commandant of Black Cliff Academy. The Black Cliff Academy is where the Martial Empire trains its elite soldiers called masks. And they're called they're called so because they wear masks, funnily enough. So this leads me to a second character called Elias. He is a mask. He is top of his class, he's about to graduate, and he's also about to desert, which is also a death sentence. They will hunt him down and kill him if they can catch him. So fate intervenes, or as I like to call fate, the red-eyed bastards, which you'll understand when you read it. Sorry, I couldn't help but put that one in. Um, Anyway, fate intervenes and he doesn't end up deserting. He actually ends up in a competition, if you will, uh, called the Trials, which is to decide who will be the next Emperor and who will be the second in command. Because the current Emperor doesn't have an heir and he's gonna die pretty soon. So that's where we're up to. What I loved about this book was pretty much everything, really. Um, I really, really loved our two main characters, Leia and Elias. Leia starts out as kind of a bit timid and a bit of a coward, and she sort of finds her inner strength and bravery because she wants to save her brother. And, like... She lasts a lot longer than most people do in the Commandant's house. Normally, they last maybe a couple of weeks, and they're usually... Actually, I don't think they actually leave, unless if they're in like a body bag. I don't think they have actual body bags in this, though. It's not that kind of setting. So, <laughs> yeah, Leia... Leia really develops from the beginning to the end of the novel and it's so satisfying like to read about her changing from this you know timid little thing to somebody who's pretty kick-ass and brave and Elias he he is amazing to start with. He's just like, oh, yeah, of course, he's... He has a moral compass, whereas a lot of masks believe in what the Empire is doing. They believe that it's, like, their God-given right to rule over, over the scholars who have been subjugated and oppressed. So... Yeah, Elias is just mostly amazing for his compassion and that moral code, I guess. And he's also really kind. Um, Plot-wise, there's, there's a lot happening. There's a lot of action, there's battle sort of scenes, um, but you've got a resistance and sort of in the background doing their thing. Um, and obviously the trials are, wow, 
we've got magic and gins and I don't know other I think sort of Middle Eastern Muslim sort of supernatural creatures I can't think of any of the others apart from the jinn at the moment um, so yeah magic is real guys but um yeah there was romance um, it was quite slow burn it wasn't in your face which I really hate because I'm like I, if I'm reading about you know a resistance and you know trials to become a new emperor and all this I don't I don't want there to be a whole lot of soppy bullcrap and oh no why doesn't he like me oh oh why did he do that but like guys just talk so there's none of that which is awesome there's kind of a love triangle but honestly I don't Try, love triangle is going to be so annoying and I think I'm not annoyed by this one because I think one of the guys doesn't really stand a chance to start with um so yeah sorry dude <laughs> I don't I really don't think you stand a chance at all so I'm not even bothered by you um the world building, the world building was great the writing was excellent there was like literally nothing I disliked nothing I liked everything in this book and the other thing I really really enjoyed or really liked or admired maybe was the fact that all of the characters had moments of humanity even the Commandant, who is a crazy bitch, like, you, you got to see kind of why she is the way she is. And I appreciate that. Even, what is it, Marcus got, like, one moment of humanity. Like, it was a single fleeting moment, but it, it was there. So fantastic book I gave it five out of five stars and I can't wait to read the next one which should be in my next wrap-up and hopefully I'll have read the third one by then as well but there's part of me that's like now that I know it it's a quartet and I'm gonna have to wait I almost want to like leave it for the year and just read the series again just before the final one comes out so on the other hand I don't think I can wait that long because these characters are amazing and I I'm really quite invested in what's going to happen to them so yep an ember in the ashes five out of five stars go read it read it read it read it sorry <laughs> anyway thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed video if you did click the like button subscribe below if you want notifications for future videos click the little bell thingy bye